let's get the show on the road. Hey, everybody! I'm Rich. I'm Jim. And I got to start things early. <laughs> Listen, I'm the one who starts videos around here, my friend. You took too long. It's true, I did. You were worried about sticks. I was. So, so we've discovered that um, while we can do a bit of ore doubling using the grindstone, with a little bit more redstone, we can uh, get power going and do it in a powered way. And I happen to know where there's some redstone. Seriously, there are gates in that fence, Jim. You were right beside one. Oh, I am too. I totally didn't do it just to frustrate you. Lies. Mm, yeah. Speaking of things that frustrate me, I am climbing scaffolding. Why? <laughs> because that aerial tree. <laughs> oh, man. Also, on the, the slim chance that the open blocks creator happens to watch these, what have you done to my scaffolding? Oh, relax. All right. Yeah, I know. When I when when I found that trap that I disarmed, uh, there was a bunch of redstone. And you didn't grab it. No, I didn't have any, I didn't have the inventory space for it. You couldn't have dropped like some dirt or sapling or something. I didn't have any of those either. I could have <sighs> dropped your magic mushrooms. Okay, see that. At least you kept things in perspective here. <laughs> oh, let me turn off my F7. There we go. I don't know that outside the walls we need to know what's lit and what's not. I assume that everything is full of monsters and just sort of go from there. Hmm. I managed to lose a scaffolding doing that. and So it turns out that that was rubber wood up there. Ah, from an offending mega sapling perhaps? I know nothing. Callbacks to the stuff that happened between episodes. I know nothing. The deep, the deepest of cuts. Nothing. Anyways, back on track here. Uh, it's almost night. And as much as I would love to leave Jim out there in the dark. Uh, please don't leave me in the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the dark like, like that YTV show. Like, I'm seriously afraid of the dark. Yeah. Well, the problem with... The problem turns out to be I'm more afraid of the minotaurs that'll attack me in the compound um yeah that seems like a thing to be afraid of yeah I really hope I'm heading toward the right thing you know I, I there's a bunch of like random stone structures out here I just sort of picked one that I thought was a familiar distance I'll figure it out I'm confident. Probably. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to set traps. This way we won't get invaded by minotaurs. Do you want to dig a pit for them, or...? Oh yeah, that's totally the trap structure. Hmm. Look, it's a house that tried to kill me. Yay. Sorry, I'm trying to think here in my mind. It's not going no, very well. No, no, we're not. No. Oh, this is not actually a house that tried to kill me. This is a different house. That's going to try the and kill you. Oh, it certainly will if given the chance. Do, do, do you think there might be a reason all this stuff tries to kill you? I mean, did you, maybe you offended this stuff in a previous life? Mm. But anyways, yeah, we could dig a pit. The thing is, though, I'm not entirely certain if we would get, uh... So... Hmm. Let me look inside this chest. If it would be enough... Oh, damn! ...to deter minotaurs. Did you find a minotaur in the chest? No. Oh. Because that would have been actually kind of cool. Um, Did you find a loot midget? No, no. That would be pretty cool too, though. I found two, four, six, seven, 
9, 11 Ender Pearls. <gasps> can, right? Can I call? Also enough enough redstone to keep us in power. And an Encyclopedia Botanica. Oh, I already got one of those. You can keep that one, though, so you figure out what the hell I'm doing. What sure. I'm doing things. Um, so I may have used all but three of our uh, uh, reeds and stuff for making... Um... Oh, I found some pumpkins, too. Oh. This can get added I'll... to the farm later. Yeah, I'll bring those back. So now I have a lot of punji sticks. Yay. Um, I'm going to start placing these. I'm not going to dig a pit, because uh, like I said, I don't think anything's going to bother falling into it anyway. Fair. I'm just going to start by going around and placing one at a time. Oh, hey, they match the ground. Be careful where you're walking. Oh, dear. Oh, hey. When your fan club got pissed, you weren't here. Tell them I say hi. Yeah, apparently she's really offended. Hmm? So I'm just going to let her stand on the punji sticks I placed and watch her die. It's, the punji of... sticks are nice because they actually slow the monsters down when they step on them. Uh, so I can just watch her health tick down. Tick, tick, tick. Looks like they poisoned them. Huh. Mm. Alright, so I'm headed... I have a bunch of that stuff. I now have enough redstone, I think, to build the beginnings of the workshop. Okay. But there's another one that's out here. It's 845 blocks from where I am, so it's a bit of a journey, but I think that it'll be worth it. I'm have to it figure occurs out. to me that if I wanted to, I could travel by Ender Pearl, but I think we'll be we'll we'll find other uses for those. What do you mean travel by Ender Pearl? You can throw an Ender Pearl and teleport. Have you never done that? No. Oh well, we'll have some kind of race. Yeah, that's that was the original purpose of Ender Pearls: is you throw them and you you teleport to wherever they land, and take a little bit of damage. It's just in in modded Minecraft. They also have a ton of other uses, so no one ever does it because you're too busy grinding them up and snorting them or doing whatever it is that you do with Ender Pearls. I used to liquefy them and make tesseracts out of them. Oh, we can make some really good power sources with those. Yep, that's why we're keeping them. I might don't know for sure. I'm gonna have enough punji sticks. I might have to keep adding to this as I go. Seems fine. I also recommend watching where you uh, step when you come back. Yeah, no kidding. I'm a colorblind guy, and you're making traps that are the same color as the ground. Yeah, isn't it I great? expect to die from it. Yeah, what was it uh, Dumbledore said? Death is just the next great adventure. Um, I will point out that Dumbledore is dead. Spoilers, man. I'm sure there's people out there who don't know this yet. Ooh, I found some surface lava. I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna mark it. I remember to bring dirt with me. No, of course I forgot to bring dirt. Uh, yeah, surface lava will be good when we get a smeltery up. If we get a smeltery yep. up. Oh, we will. We're almost there. Okay. I recommend heading for gates when you come in. Rather than just chopping a hole in the... Uh, do you want to, like, maybe use cobblestone or something and mark a path? That actually kind of takes all the fun out of it for me. Um... Fine. Jerk. Uh, besides, I was thinking gravel, <laughs> honestly. Sure. After I watch you try and navigate the punji Yeah, no, no, of course, of course, you're going to make me go through it once. Oh, you know it. We'll see how much attention you're paying when you come back to the fence line. Because I left gaps at the gates. Actually, I know a good way to mark them. Oh, this is the perfect way to mark them. Oh, I'll love this. I mean, oh, you God. won't, but... I'm really looking forward to this. 
Yeah, I just gotta find the right things. You're gonna be. I a while, will point so, right? out that if I die on them because you take damage when you stand on them, then I'm. Uh, it might kill my. Oh no! It'll wind up in my grave now. That's right. It won't just destroy all my belongings. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there'll be markings for how to get in. Shit! I just dropped straight into a hole. Did I really? Oh yeah, I did swim across this, didn't I? I don't know. I'll have to wait till the video's put up to find out. I'm gonna pick up some sand while I'm out here. There. Now, now I'm sure you will manage to find where the entrances are to the gates, so you won't have to chop your way through. Um. Did you put up signs? Oh no, this is much better. Uh. Okay. Much more effective. Is it flaming netherrack? Uh, we haven't been to the nether. I know. You're resourceful. I'm not that resourceful. Okay, actually I'm going to have to move a couple of these uh, punji sticks that are a little too close to the gates. I'll have to leave a little gap. Tunneling through a big sand pit. Well, at least we'll have the sand for the uh, smell tree. Yep. Actually, I don't think punji sticks can kill players. Oh, because they just poison you? I think so. And poisoning only takes you down to half a heart. I'm not 100% sure on this, so... Yeah, that seems like a thing that you probably wouldn't be 100% sure on. You definitely need a lot more punji sticks because you can fit five of these on a square. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Well, we have a reed farm, right? Yeah. Doop -a doop doop doop. Closing in on my second destination, which is carefully named. Destination 2. Adventurous Law. So it seems to be getting a little dark. Yeah, it does. I'm assuming you'd want me to do something about that. Yep. I have, I have punji sticks. They might protect me now. Just out here risking life and limb and magical mushrooms to, uh, you know. Magical mushrooms are a trap. Very groovy trap, but a trap nonetheless. Is there anything else in here that I want? Um, computer viruses. Oh, uh, that'll be great. James' computer goes and has a fit. Power catalysts, common treasure. Oh, uh, common treasure from Thongcraft. Yeah, I don't really think I care about any of this. Oh, I don't think anybody expects you to. I am getting some pistons, though. Which is good, because we're going to need those to build some thermal machines. Alright, I am coming home now. Okay. Because I am very far away. So now we'll have enough to automate it, so I can use the ore doubler with the hand crank to make a bit of copper. And then we'll be able to build the beginnings of a workshop. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Because I'm smart? Are you sure? Hmm, maybe. I mean, I, I hmm. hear you attended university at some point. At some point, once or twice. Yeah. Where are we here? Do we have a workbench? Yes, we do.
There we go. Now I have a boat. Riding in style. I'm gonna laugh if you crash into a lily pad and break it. Oh, you and me both, but I can see them coming. I don't know that there's a universal set of water that connects this with our home. You do have a map. Oh, I do, that's right. Don't worry, Jim. We shall train you. Listen, alright? One of these days, you will be a proper adventurer. An explorer. We'll even find a way to get you an explorer's hat. I'm just... No, I'm gonna have to portage this a bit. That sounds terrible. What? Having to portage. Yeah, they don't connect. Aww. Okay. Now I feel like a voyageur. You ever been to voyager days? No, I don't know what that is. Oh. Aha, I've been to something Jim hasn't. What is it? Oh, uh, it's the kind of thing where they celebrate the voyagers. Oh. Hence, that seems neat and the, sort of weird, the but name. mostly neat. My cousins will kill me for not remembering exactly where this is, but it's up near Mattawa, Ontario. I don't know where that is either. Oh, it's in northern Ontario. Mm -hmm. Right along the... Lots of things are. Mattawa is on the border between Ontario and Quebec. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I know this because we managed to take a boat right across the river. Neat. It was. There were some three crosses up on the top of a giant... I, I guess it would be considered a mountain or a hill. I can't remember for sure. I was younger then. You know, yeah. willing to actually go out and do stuff. <laughs> um, we hiked up to it. Cool. Yeah. Then we hiked back down. That's cool. And then we had to wait for the boat to come back and get us. Because, of course, the adults uh. went for beer. Well, yeah. Well, That's the kids who they tricked into, I'm, I'm sure, well, they'll probably figure, remember it a different way, but I'm sure the kids were tricked into uh, doing all this exercise. Uh, no, that's that's what you do. You trick children into doing exercise so that they're tired. So then they're tired. That is not going to take me home. That might. Okay, we're now surrounded with single punji sticks. Okay. I'm going to start setting up groups of five over at places where I see things gathering most of the time. The sheep. I don't know why, but everything seems... Oh, to I found a swamp with a really tall tree right in the middle of it. Oh no, what are you going to do? Oh no, nothing. I'm just noting it. It's also unfortunately full of lily pads, so I can't ride my boat through it. Ha <laughs> ha. I want to be on a boat. Like a really old Lonely Island reference. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to work my way around. Basic defenses are now set up. Yay! I have also discovered that I cannot place worms in your bed. Good. I am glad to know that. Why? How do you know? Never mind. <laughs> Don't tell me how you know that. Okay. Don't tell me what you've been doing. Oh, there's a funny looking house. No, it's not mine. Where'd I put no, my cobblestone? No, it's not. There we are. Give myself a little bridge. I'm going to go and investigate this house. He's surrounded by hobgoblins. Okay. What is inside it? I don't know. I'm going to chop my way through the through the door or through the wall because I don't enter anywhere by the door. Listen, Susie, why, why don't you just like start jumping out windows or something? I would if I could. There's an upstairs. Uh, did, did you ever think that 
Maybe on occasion you're getting just a little too paranoid. No. Sorry, uh, I just raided two separate enclosures that lure you inside with the promise of treasure and then drop lava on you. Two. I'm sure it was just an honest mistake. Yes. Probably. Obviously they should be dropping the lava on you before you try going inside. Though now I'm thinking that I gotta find a way to set up a trap that drops the lava on you when you try and dig your way through the walls. Um, it's been done. I recall somebody on a old server that we played on did it. They just essentially lined all of their walls with lava. So that if you dug a hole in the wall, you you just lava would just pour out of it. I approve. It was pretty funny. Remember Chris at one time created lava walls. Um Yes. I remember his lava walls. I am so high right now. Listen, they haven't legalized the marijuana yet, man. You should wait. Listen, alright, liberals are in charge now. Everybody's just getting super whacked on the hootie mac. Yeah, well, apparently the uh, University of Waterloo has discovered that uh, pregnant women that smoke uh, marijuana, their children will come out with better eyesight. Oh, huh. that seems weird. Uh, apparently their eyesight is will be better at tracking things. Sure. Seems like I need study, though. Yeah. wonder... That would take a long time. Alright. Yep. I am not even close to home. I am. How is the house building going? Um, it's coming along. You just really want to, like, watch me try and walk through this gauntlet of punji sticks, don't you? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of using, um bone meal on the uh, the sugar cane or whatever to get it to grow faster. You're a monster. I, I just want that to be noted. That you are a monster. And... No, no, no. I just wanted that noted. I'm okay. Glad that, I'm glad we had this talk. Okay. Uh, I think I'll leave these torches on the ground while I do this, instead of picking them up, because why not? This way no spiders can possibly spawn underneath there. Sure. Oh, would you want spiders underneath your floor? No. No, that actually sounds horrible. Well then. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Turn, turn boat. There we go. All right, I return. Okay. I, you marked the friggin' them with mushrooms. You monster. <laughs> well, are you going to have any trouble fi trouble finding them? No. Oh, no, I can totally see the punji sticks. Well, I wasn't sure, so I thought I'd mark them in an interesting way. Have fun editing the uh, videos when I uh, of the spots where I walked over them. Oh, God. <laughs> You've been stoned this whole time, haven't you? Not gonna say no. Anyway, I'm not stepping on your stupid punchy sticks. You stepping on my mushrooms? No. Oh, that defeats the purpose. Ah, you stepped on a punchy stick. Yeah, I did. It didn't really do much, though. It just did, like, a heart of damage. Um, I have spots where there's five of them if you want to go step on it. I'm curious to see one. They're over by the sheep. I don't have a gate oh. over here. Uh, over here. Yeah, yeah, that looks dangerous. I didn't put a gate over here. Uh, I figured we can go out one of the other spots and around. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see what happens at night. The Minotaur shows up and eats our face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. He just jumps them. More than likely. Um, if you want to test us. that, I can, uh, you know, hide inside. <laughs> 
What's in my miner's backpack? Oh, salt and iron nuggets. Okay. Another time. Now we're going to grind up some stuff, and next time we're going to go straight to power. And meanwhile, Rick will finish the house. Oh, nice. So we've got like a foundation and a floor. Are we going to have a basement? Uh, we can put one in eventually. I want to get everything in first.